Hey guys, welcome back to Nick's Mini Bikes. Today, Chucky wants to try to get some more speed out of the 224, so we're gonna do a few things to it. I got a flat top piston and a Wildcat 223 rod to put in it, so we'll do that. And uh, got a cam and some 18 pound valve springs we'll put in it as well. So we'll try to get him to do most of the work and uh, watch him do it. Here we go. Alright, so here's a quick rundown of what we got today. Today we got a EC carburetor billet connecting rod. Bearings. Part number 8281. Fits a 223 wild cap. Got that to go in. I got this flat top piston right here. Comes with the new wristband and clips. Ring set. And we got a new cam. Dino cam, CLCS, there's that cam card, and to go along with that we have a billet flywheel. Hard to see it. It's a number 6689. It's got 32 degrees of timing built into it. If we look back at that time card, recommended timing is 32 degrees. Then, if we get that far, we have a knockoff Makuni there. Bought a 10 thou head gasket. Bought a side cover with vents because I'm planning on chopping up the side cover that comes off of it to check my clearances. Got a new bearing to go inside there and a new seal. So we'll start working on this and see how far we get. Chuck's already been working on it. He's got the motor unbolted. Now he's going to take the air box off and unhook the throttle cable and the tachometer. He's got the two nuts off the air box and now he's got to get the two hoses off the back of that air box. Can't get this chain. There you go. Now that Chuck's got this motor out, he's going to take the torque converter off.
Now the check has that torque converter off. He'll go ahead and drain the oil out of it. It'll be a 10 millimeter bolt on the side here. Now, we're not too worried about the mud that's on there because once we get it all apart, we'll take it to the car wash, give it a spray. Chuck's going to go ahead and just start taking things off. Start with the gas tank. Right now we'll work on getting this top plate off. It's going to be a bolt here and one back here. Now we got that top plate off, we'll finish taking that gas tank off. We'll keep this bolt handy to plug the fuel line once Chuck gets it off. I got the, I got the thing off. Yeah. Okay. Get your bolt handy. <coughs> Ready? Mm-hmm. So when we pulled that hose, it pulled the throttle linkage off for us. So we just slide that carburetor off now. Get the isolator off. Now that gas tank will, should pull straight up. Feed the gas line through. And we'll take that exhaust off of there. Now we'll get this side cover off. We got that side cover off, we'll pull this coil off. It'll be two eight millimeter bolts. All right, now we'll work on tearing it down that way. So I'll have Chuck take a screwdriver and get some of this mud off. Now that he's got that some of that mud cleaned off. It's going to need an eight millimeter socket to get these four bolts off that valve cover. All right, now that Chuck's got that valve cover off, we'll take this heat shield off. It'll be two eight millimeter bolts, one here, and then one on the bottom side there. Now we'll take these rocker arms off. It's going to be a 14 and a 10. After he gets those 10 millimeter nuts off, he'll take out the 14s. Now his rocker arms will slide off and his push rods will pull out. Now that we got the rocker arms off, Chuck will get his head off with these four 12 millimeter bolts. Okay, we do have a lash cap sitting on that exhaust spring right there. So now he's got those out. We'll just lift this head right off. Now check out that head off. We'll get this flywheel off. Be one nut in the middle there. 21 millimeter. Nut comes off. Your cup comes off. Fan comes off. Then you got your flywheels. What we'll do to get the flywheel off, we'll start that nut back on there. About halfway. We'll get a pry bar back behind it. And Chuck will whack that nut with the hammer. Now we'll take the crankcase cover off. It's gonna be six 10 millimeter bolts. Now that he got those six bolts out, we'll take this side cover off. Careful not to rip the gasket. All right, now the truck has that side cover off, he'll pull that cam out. Then he'll pull the tappets out. 
now that he's got those out he'll unhook this connecting rod there'll be two 10 millimeter bolts got that connecting rod loose we'll go ahead and slide that piston up and out the top here there's our piston and our connecting rod now that we got that piston and connecting rod out this crank will just slide right out there's our crank so that's it on that 224 teardown on the next episode we'll be working on fitting that billet rod in there we'll check our oil clearances and we'll make sure we have clearance in that block so that uh, we're not hitting anywhere we'll see about getting that cam in there and checking its clearances so we'll basically just be checking all the clearances inside that crankcase to make sure we're not hitting anything and that, that bottom end spins freely without any interference.